everyone, it's Michelle and today we're going to be doing a much needed spring reset. It has been so miserable this week in New York City. It's been either rainy or super cloudy every single day, today included. I'm trying to get into the spring spirit by wearing some bright colors. So I figured while we're inside hiding out from the April showers, might as well do a little bit of spring cleaning. So today we're gonna be tackling all the stuff on my to-do list that I have been putting off for far too long. But I'm feeling extra motivated in refreshing my space and kind of like getting my life together because I'm actually about to head out on a trip this weekend. I'm so excited. Me and Aline are headed to Mexico to visit our grandparents and we haven't seen them in a couple of years. So we're super excited to see them and just enjoy some time on the beach and bask in the sunshine. I'm so excited, but this week has definitely been a little bit overwhelming. I've been trying to get my tag is done been trying to deep clean the entire apartment our lovely friend Lauren is actually babysitting Birdie while we're away so it's been actually really really great not only is that super helpful knowing that someone that you trust and love is going to be staying in your space and taking care of your pet but it also has been such a boost of motivation to make sure that our apartment is in tip-top shape for her stay I don't know about you but the thought of someone coming and staying in my space. There's no motivation to clean quite like it. When it comes to my to-do list and my planning for trips, for errands, for chores, I am such a fan of the Notes app. The Notes app is my best friend. I used to be such a paper planner girl, but I have graduated to just needing everything in one place, and that is my phone. So on my Notes app, I like to break it up like this. The monostyled font has this very classy, like, gray border that just helps in keeping things really organized and clean. I added some emojis just to, like, psych myself up for doing all the things I have to do today. I love having the little bubbles to check off. It's just so satisfying. So as you can see, I checked off the morning pages and making my bed. That's my favorite way of like getting my to-dos kind of laid out there. I've split things up over the week, which is really helpful. I definitely get overwhelmed when doing things all in one day. As I get older, I really have tried not to leave things all for one day, especially like the day before a trip or even a couple days before a trip. I've tried to give myself this entire week to just chip away at my to-do list and get things done one step at a time. So why don't we get into it? Feel free to watch this vlog while you do your own spring cleaning session. Why don't we kick it off with deep cleaning the fridge? I'm gonna do the whole shebang. We're gonna clear out anything that's expired. We're gonna wash down all of the shelves. So yeah, let's get into it. Absolutely slayed, crushed it with the fridge organization. Not only did I clear out everything that was going bad, all the expired sauces and like condiments and things, but I took out each individual drawer and shelf from the fridge and deep cleaned everything with hot soap and water and everything is so fresh. I wiped down the entire interior of the fridge and it's just basically brought back to life. It feels so good. It's something that's been on my list for like the last like month or so. I did a big deep clean at the start of the year of the fridge so it wasn't terrible but it's still a huge undertaking so really thrilled to have that taken care of and now next up on our reset list is laundry. I actually did drop off my laundry yesterday but we're going to go pick everything up. It's been raining all day and the only thing that's motivating me to go pick up my laundry is one, all of the pillow covers on our couch are currently being washed and I have to say having naked pillows on the couch just is not the vibe. They're like this stark white, they're lumpy. I just like don't like being in that room when the couch doesn't feel like a cute cozy centerpiece of the space so i'm really excited to get the couch covers back but the second thing that's motivating me is i kind of want a sweet treat i'm really craving a cookie of some kind to have like an afternoon tea and cookie moment so i think that that 
is what's really gonna light a fire under me to go pick up my laundry and I'm gonna take out the trash because since clearing out the fridge we've got a lot of like smelly things it's so miserable outside it's so rainy but I'm just gonna buckle up and do it because it's gonna feel so good to have my fresh laundry to have those pillows covered and then have a lovely sweet treat so I think I'm gonna stop by Aura Washers which I absolutely love it's one of my favorite little bakeries on the Upper West Side and I think I'm gonna get like a black and white cookie or something um, I'm gonna get my coat on put on my shoes take out the trash and we're gonna pick up our laundry as much as I'm dreading it Popping in to thank the sponsor of today's video, Blue Land. I've been using Blue Land for years. I specifically love their hand soap, but while we're resetting, I'm going to refill my little soaps. I love these bottles. I think they're so chic and clean looking. This is their frost color, and I think that it's so classy. It looks so upscale. I wanna say around three or four years ago, I really started to try to make small changes and shift my habits to try to be a little bit more uh, conscious of the planet. I'm definitely not perfect by any means, but you guys know I love thrifting, shopping secondhand whenever possible, and I started composting, I believe, in the pandemic. What I love the most about Blue Land is that there is no single-use plastic. I love that the refills come in a little tablet, and the tablet's packaging is compostable, so I can just toss it in my little compost that I keep in the freezer. Refilling the hand soap is honestly kind of fun. It feels like a little science project, but you just refill them to this fill line with water and then you use your little tablets. I love the iris agave scent but the lavender eucalyptus is also exquisite. I also love that these are foaming hand soap. There's something so incredibly satisfying about a foamy hand soap. I can't quite put my finger on it. So yeah once you fill them with water you just plop in the tablets. You can already see they're going to work and starting to dissolve but they'll be ready to use within minutes. With cleaning products specifically, there's so much single-use plastic, so much waste, so being able to find products that are within budget, that actually work, that aren't harming the environment, feels like such a weight off my shoulders. So if you wanna try Blue Land for yourself, you can use my special link in the description box and get 15% off your first kit. All right, now that we've refilled the hand soap for the kitchen and the bathroom, let's get back into cleaning. I think next on the list is actually going to be putting away my laundry because picking up the laundry was one task in itself. Now it's time to put it away. All right, all of the laundry has been unpacked. We've got things pretty much organized by uh, category. So for example, pajamas, workout clothes over there, towels and things. Um, and now I'm just gonna put away all this stuff probably watch a YouTube video or call my mom or something while putting it away. It's just kind of a tedious task, isn't it? So gonna put on some entertainment while we put all of this away. Going with my day, it's always the moment that it's like the hard work on behalf of your little sister. So yeah. it's been yeah. nice since I have my class on Saturday. I'm trying to get everything done by Friday. I come home from my class and I can just like have dinner, go to bed. It's so helpful to have people that are willing to watch your animals yeah, while absolutely. you're away. Yeah, yesterday uh, Ryan came over. Hello everyone and happy Friday. We've made it to two days before the trip. And today is the goal that I set for feeling, feeling pretty much complete with everything on my to-do list. I will say that I still have a lot to tackle today. Aline's strengths definitely lean more towards the deep cleaning stuff and mine tend to lean more towards organization. Aline already deep cleaned the bathroom floors and offered to do like the tub, the shower situation which is a huge weight off my shoulders and I think she's gonna do the floors throughout the apartment and like the kitchen and stuff. Um, so I am gonna go through pretty much every single room and I'm gonna do a little bit of like a tidy organization refresh which right now feels really daunting but I'm just gonna take it 
one room at a time. I'm sure certain rooms in the apartment aren't going to take too long and I already did get like a pretty good head start earlier in the week. I'm leaning towards the bathroom just because I don't think there's as much to get done since it's a pretty small room. It's mainly our shelves in the bathroom. So I'm gonna start off with the bathroom. I'm gonna listen to some music and we're going to we're gonna tackle this to-do list one thing at a time. I have an appointment later at Sugar and Bronze for a bikini wax and a spray tan, which I don't get done often. But since I'm going on a tropical vacation and you know, I feel like being in front of extended family in your bathing suit brings up a lot of like feelings and stuff. I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel confident. I used to self tan all the time before 2020 and then kind of when lockdown happened, I just completely stopped cold turkey. I just hate putting the tanning foam or tanning lotion on. It's just like my least favorite thing in the world. And in quarantine, I kind of just accepted and came to terms with like my true pale self. But I do want a little bit of a glow, so I think I'm gonna do like the lightest shade they have. I really love Sugared and Bronzed. It's like the best bikini wax place I've found in the city. It's been such trial and error, so many nightmare stories, but I think they do such a good job there and I feel really like comfortable as much as it hurts, like an absolute bitch. But regardless, they do such a good job there and I have super positive experiences every single time I go. Um, I also have been debating getting a pedicure. I didn't want to spend the money, but my feet are in a state, I'll tell you that much. Like throughout the winter, they've just been beat up. They don't look good and I'll feel probably a lot more confident if a professional handles that situation. And then I have my art class tomorrow. I have a little homework assignment that I still need to do. So even if it's just like half an hour or an hour, I want to sit down at the end of the day and work in my sketchbook. Um, I'm probably going to be packing throughout today and tomorrow. So um, yeah, there's just like a lot on the docket. I have some like things I wanted to pick up from CVS, but if that doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world. This is the current situation in the bathroom. It's just chaos. It needs to be sorted immediately. And yeah, definitely with like preparing for the trip and running around and trying to get things done, it's just gotten even worse. But let's tackle this uh, one shelf at a time, shall we? The hustle, put in the work. Emailers and knitting pictures and models and Okay, these shelves have just been finished. They look so much better. This is making me feel way less stressed about the rest of the apartment. Checking this one off the list. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm not super stoked about the next item on the checklist. Next, I have to organize the kitchen cabinets. They are just pure chaos. I can't even remember the last time this was done. I have been listening to the um, Taylor Swift Eras Tour set list and that has made all the difference. It's making even the most mundane. You had lunch. Yeah, you did. It's making even the most mundane activities so much more fun. So let's do this. Tis a damn season. All right, I'm so proud of myself. All three cabinets have been finished up and they look so much better. You can see where everything is, everything that has gone bad or that we didn't need anymore or use anymore has been tossed out and yeah we have so much more space and it just looks so like 
bright and fresh and clean. Personally, so relieved that this is over and done with. Another thing checked off the to-do list. Okay, so we're at the final stage of everything at least I wanted to get done today. There will be little things like changing my sheets and like wiping down the surfaces in the living room and fluffing the pillows and kind of like vacuuming the couch and stuff like that that I'll want to do either like the night before or the morning that we leave um, just to make sure everything is super fresh. But the last thing really that I wanted to tackle today is tidying up the office. The office tends to be like our little dumping ground because it is very out of sight, out of mind since it's not in our bedrooms or the common areas. Um, we tend to just like leave our stuff around here and it can get really messy. So I left this for last because I'm not looking forward to it, but I haven't really looked forward to any of these tasks and it hasn't been that bad and it's felt so good and the apartment is looking so cute and put together and I just feel, yeah, I feel so refreshed and reset already and we're not even, we're not even done. Um, so I'm gonna put in my Taylor Swift. We're currently on Folklore. That's where we're at on the set list and I'm having a great time. It's been so therapeutic to kind of like sing along as well. I don't think I've done that in, in far too long. I feel a lot more relaxed honestly after cleaning and listening to music and singing along. So, uh, we're off to a good start. I mean, it's only one... 26 so basically it's 1 30 and my appointment isn't until 4. I've decided that I'll make my choice about the pedicure if I have enough time like if I don't have enough time then it's just not gonna happen and I can whip something together myself with like a foot scrub and some moisturizer. It's gonna be an in the moment type of decision I think but yeah let's get to it. We're gonna listen to some folklore and we're gonna tidy up the office and make it look uh Heck of a lot better than it looks right now. As you can see, when you walk into the office, it is not that bad. But yeah, we do just have like piles of things that I need to sort through. Specifically, this surface looks, uh, looks rough. So let's get to it. I remember thinking I had you, but I could see us lost in a memory. Okay, the office looks so much cuter. I love this little setup. I think it looks obviously like so much nicer, especially compared to how it was before. The desk and this chair have been cleared off. Obviously need to like clean that and stuff, but for the most part in such a better place. Okay, now that all of that has been sorted, it's time to finish off this reset with some self care. I'm about to pop out. I think I have time to get a pedicure. So I think I'm gonna do a pedicure and then pop over to my sugared and bronzed appointment. I've got my black sweatshirt, black sweatpants on for uh, the occasion, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> today's video everyone I hope you enjoyed coming along with me while I um, just deep cleaned my apartment I absolutely love watching these kind of like mundane homey videos so I hope you enjoyed watching it as well a huge thank you to blue land for sponsoring this video I am such a fan of their stuff I've used them for years so it feels so cool to get to partner with them if you do want to give blue land a try don't forget to tap that link in my description box for 15% off your first kit I think by the time this video goes live Aline and I will be in Mexico so make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok to keep up with us until the next video but yeah Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!